basically, the moral of the story is, kids, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Hey everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. So yes, Mind Change decided on an exchange on my key charm. Ah! I know, it was a really, uh, look, well, basically, I decided that it probably wasn't the really best item for me in the sense that I don't like when things get scratched. Yes, my riveted belt is really quite scratched, but I dealt with that because it was a usable item. A key charm, if it scratches, I'll probably start to really get the irrits. And yeah, sat with it, thought about it, left the bag, and I just decided... Exchange, baby! Exchange. Huge shout out to my essay, Nism. He has been my essay at Bondi Junction for a couple of years now. I've really, really grown to like Bondi Junction, Louis Vuitton here in Sydney. Uh, at first, I always used to go to George Street. I went, you know, to the Maison or Castle Ray Street, the Maison store, just because I thought customer service was a lot better there. But slowly, slowly, I started to go to Bondi. Firstly, it's inside Westfield, so it's better parking. Uh, but, and just got to know Nizam and his team. He's the manager there. Mwah! We had an amazing time the other day. We just get, we get down. We started talking about fashion and blogs and online shopping. Yeah, he knows his online shopping and that's just fabulous. So I had a really, really great time with him and his SA team. I have been asked a few times to do a, uh, I guess you'd call it, um, how do I put it? sales experience or customer service experience in high-end luxury brands not only Louis Vuitton stores but just um, service experience in these kind of luxury brand stores I've been asked to do a video on that and how to sort of deal with it get around it um, you know walking into those stores just completely on its own can be really really intimidating I do understand that so yeah some tips and tricks that could be a really good video let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below that could be very handy even for my younger viewers who collect Vuitton uh, that to walk into a store like that is very very scary actually so on with the unboxing. So this was an exchange uh, and I had to pick up another item anyway that I knew I needed. And so we're exchanging the LV Facets Charm for this new item and I will show you what that is right now. So as I said, I picked up two items. The second little item I needed came in this bag. But we'll do that one in a second. The main exchange ended up coming in this tall rectangular bag. It has Louis Vuitton printed across the front and the Maison address in Paris. From inside, we have the proof of purchase and a cute little Christmas card that Nizam gave me. These are the Louis Vuitton Christmas cards that they're doing. And if you see their window at the moment, it is just so damn cute with the little uh, the little ducks, the geese. They've got um, pulling a sled for the festive season, which is so cute. All their ribbons are red at the moment. So if you do go past one of the stores, check out their window. It is very, very festive. And here is a proof of purchase, brown card, Louis Vuitton written across the front of it. And inside is my receipt. And here it is from out of the bag comes the beautiful draw box with the nice red ribbon around it. So as I just said, for the festive season here in Australia, they're doing the red ribbon. They change it up around the world. I'm not quite sure if maybe if everywhere's doing the red ribbon, let me know if you're getting red ribbon. And it's got the Louis Vuitton kind of card here with again the stencil Louis Vuitton written across the front there and then this beautiful red ribbon. This is the box. We have Louis Vuitton written across the front of it. It opens like a drawer. From out of that drawer comes the dust bag. Here is the dust bag. You have Louis Vuitton written across the front of it. It is a top flap dust bag. And to show you the item I exchanged for 
Voila! The one and only Emily wallet in red. I have gone back and forward a few times, Nizam knows. I've got him to pull out this wallet a few times so I can see it. Uh, I'm obsessed with this collection with the lining colours. I obviously have the Marie in the red and I adore it. I think the pop of colour against the traditional monogram is really unique and just a great reinterpretation for the print. So showing it to you up close, here it is. This is the Emily wallet. It has the beautiful oval shaped front to it. The Josephine is far more severe like an envelope, much more of a pointed front. It has the iconic red button for this uh, um, line with the red lining. They always have the colour of the button on the front. It is one continuous piece of canvas so the LV logo is upside down and continues round to have them right way up on the front. It has the snap lock closure there from the button and here it is on the front of the purse. It has one, two, three, four card holders in the front which is similar to sort of the Sarah wallet. That is all the card space. I was hesitating on that this wallet because of that. It's similar to the Marie in the sense that it does only hold four cards so I thought it was far too close to the Marie like that but again I did decide to get it because it is a long wallet and I can store cards in the back of it. Shout out to my girl Nastasia M53. She has done reviews on this wallet and all her Sarah wallets to show how you can really store other items down inside other than just the card places that are there to accommodate your cards. So opening up again you have the four in the front and then that opens to reveal the coin zipper pocket so it does have a built-in coin pocket which I do like. I do use these um, when I'm not using a coin purse so that's it there. The zipper pull on this is quite sweet it's that um, threaded through leather um, tab tassel type pull. It's not brass hardware which I find interesting. I like that. It's a bit different. There is the coin purse down inside there. It moves on to another bigger compartment. I guess this is where you put your um, money, your bills or any receipts. Then there's this sort of hidden pocket behind here which has the monogram canvas. It's not all just the red lining. So down inside there is another pocket. And then the big pocket on the back, which everyone goes on about, that it's deep enough, goes all the way to the bottom of the wallet. And it's deep enough to hold a phone, which it's true. I did try that in the boutique. I'm not quite sure if I would be using it like that, but it is handy to know you can do that as well. Bringing it up close here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. So from inside it has the textile card. So this is in most of your uh, leather items. It should have coated uh, fabric with the calf leather lining there. I will just quickly show you it holding my phone. So here is my iPhone 5. Placing it down in that back pocket and closing it up. It can be held perfectly like that and you can just run with everything in your wallet like that. Very, very nice. So again, it is the Emily wallet with the red interior lining and I absolutely adore it. I had gone back a few times to stalk this baby and I eventually ended up getting it with my exchange. So exchanging the key charm, adding a little bit of money and picking up this baby. So moving on to my next little essential item that I picked up. You guys do know that I have the PM Agenda in Damier Azure canvas. That may give away what I picked up. Mini chart draw box. So cute. Again, Nism put the red bow on it for me with the Louis Vuitton card on it there. This draw box has Louis Vuitton written across the front. It opens like a drawer and it's absolutely miniature and so adorbs. Taking the item out there, the item I did pick up was the PM Agenda refills in the weekly. I have done my review on this baby. I use it to death. It is my everything. It stores all of my extra cards and it stores all of my company's information, all my bank needs and things like that. I need it on a daily basis. So I do uh, invest in the refills. I know a lot of people go and get Filofax refills and things like that because they're a ton cheaper. But I've always sort of stuck to investing to the Louis Vuitton refills and I just kind of think, 
uh, I don't know, I prefer it that way, but each to their own, totally go and get whatever suits your lifestyle. It looks like this in its little brown packet, and I did actually open it up and have a look. So it's the trunks and locks edition there with the uh, page marker tag in the trunks and locks. It looks like my key charm actually. So that's nice and it comes with all of the stickers and a new ruler for 2014. So they were my beautiful two items that I picked up as an exchange off the back of my key charm that you saw me unbox the other day. It wasn't quite suitable for my lifestyle so go back, you've got a 30 day exchange with Vuitton and they're happy to help you exchange for something that's going to work for your lifestyle. So that was the end of my unboxing video guys, I do hope you enjoyed that. I am going to do nail polish at the end of every video. Because I notice I keep getting asked, what's on your nails? What colors on your nails? So at the end of every video, if I have a new color on, I'm going to show it to you guys and tell you what color it is. So at the moment, this is the same color that was on my nails from the other video I did, the last video I did. And it is just such a beautiful iridescent sort of fuchsia color. And this is it by Revlon. It is their top speed uh, nail varnish and it is in the color 520 and it's called Lava. I absolutely love this. It's super girly, super pink and it's just so fabulous. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. Thumbs up if you like unboxings and I hope everybody is doing really well. Take care guys. Peace. Oh, this garden